Most people in life are looking at how do I make a life worth living in return with having. What I know about people is that people like to make a living. And to make a living, we have to have the opportunity, not only in our community, but we also have to have the opportunity within our competition to be bold, to be beautiful, and to be different. If you're a BBB in the community, then you know what is important to you. But what other people see of you might be different. And that's something we have to be careful of. Our personal brand is our personal brand. Our professional brand is our professional brand. And openly, we've got big wigs who are coming out of network marketing trying to talk about these things, but they don't really get what they look like to us either. You see, we never know what we look like to someone else until we're right there in front of them, right there talking to them, and right there interacting with them, showing them our soul, showing them our intelligence, showing them our patience, showing them our listening skills, and showing them our communication abilities. And most people in today's world fail miserably at communication, which is why we have discord. Discord comes about because people fail to look for affinities. And looking for affinities is saying, okay, what can we agree on here? In this problem-solving situation that we're in, what can we do to agree upon something? The idea of agreeing to disagree does work in some families because you're still going to keep the relationship going. But when you've done something so abusive, so alternative, so assertive, not at all, acoustic to someone's life, please don't expect them to keep them in your life. There is a period in which forgiveness times out. There is a period in which behavior doesn't get, well, forgiven. And if you think you're going to sit over in a different shop and behave yourself, that's fine. But if you think you're going to misbehave on someone's life, that's another thing entirely. Now, I don't have to be clever, and I don't have to be great at poetry, and I don't have to make everything rhyme. But what I can tell you is if you're playing wrong in life, God's going to show you that almost every day. I can remember being blamed for a lot of things by one of my closest girlfriends who was a business partner and a business friend and really become a true, true, independent, uh, intimate friend. And I just sat there and thought, what are you talking about? I've done nothing to support but support you. I've given up time. I've given up money. I've given up a lot of things, even time and relational time with my wife to be here for you. And openly, I'm the one doing all the work, bringing all these people in to stand in front of you. But please, do not accuse me of doing something to harm you because I would never do that. I do, however, have the right to say no to trying to talk to someone who might not listen to me because of how he thinks of me. There's no point in that. At the same time, if God is shouting at me, they're going to get a divorce anyway, this is not a healthy relationship for either of them, then I have the right to listen to that.